The building trades also provide an opportunity for growth, which involves going through an apprenticeship, as Trent explained. His apprenticeship through independent electrical contractors is a non-union open shop company. After four years, he'll receive a journeyman certificate. But what happens if you have no experience with building trades, but know that's the career you want to pursue? Building Futures, now supported by the Columbus Urban League, is a pre-apprenticeship union-based program that introduces participants to the wider world of construction work. I was in the streets, like most kids. You know, I grew up, I seen everybody selling drugs, making good money, and that's the lifestyle I wanted to live. A few years of traumatic experiences. My cousin was killed in my house. Some of my people tried to come rob me and kill him. My dad died the next year, and then my nephew was killed by the police in 2016. And that right there just told me like, there's more in life worth living for. And just made me just start taking my last nephew and really getting him under my wing to do something legal and understand the importance of building wealth and assets, doing the, the legal way. When you're young, you don't know, like you said, you don't know what you want to do. So at times I thought school was for me, times I'm like, nah, school ain't for me. I was already headed into the construction trades, I just didn't know how. I didn't know the angles, I didn't know nobody to put me into it. So Building Futures is actually bridging the gap that a lot of people and minorities have. Everybody think when they say electrician, they think it's all one thing. It's not, because y'all went through it, you went through it. One, two, three, four. You gotta learn how to cut out the things you don't need to get the things you want. And that's what Building Futures is all about. It helps the kids realize that it's a need for trades. You know, you, you, you're doing a service to yourself by learning something you can use for yourself regardless if you're working or not. And it's so simple to learn it once you get the right training. And that's what these kids is missing. They're missing people to look out, mentor them, and teach them how to, you know, you don't got to be in the streets to make good money. The main thing in the trades is to know how to read a tape measure. You can read a tape measure, you can do so much. The rule is, Measure twice, cut once. So you know, you always double check yourself, your work come out good. And have pride about your work. Four or five years, you're a journeyman, making 1000 to $1,500 a week. You can afford to pay for your family, school, anything else you need. It's, I think it's personally better than taking on $100,000 in loans, having to worry about paying that back for the rest of your life. They call it a brother and a friend. They get their brother and their friends on before anybody else from the outside. So by distancing certain people into it, now they had a chance to bring their brother and their friend. Like I brought my nephew and my other nephew that's graduating today. My nephew makes $15, $16 fresh out of high school. He hasn't complained yet. And he's not in the streets. And he goes to work every day, goes to class. You know, he's thinking about buying houses. This is a lot of things that kids at 19, 20 years old are not even thinking about. So if I, Franklin County, Impact, Building Futures can get these kids out the streets into this program, I think we can help start some of the better community for ourselves. You know, what you learn from one person, supposed to give it to the next, free of charge, especially if you got it for free. Leland, it's really awesome to see you again. It's been a while, but it is great to see you as well. Do you mind just starting by telling us, what is Building Futures? Yeah, no problem. Building Futures is a pre-apprenticeship program offered by the uh, Electrical Trade Center in conjunction with the Columbus Building and Construction Trades and Franklin County Jobs and Family Services and the Franklin County uh, Board of Commissioners. I don't want to leave them out. Um, but it is actually a 12-week program that is designed to get people back into the pipeline of, of the skilled trades. And so we offer, you know, kind of basic construction skills training, basic professional skills, uh, and, and things that individuals would need to know if they wanted to progress into one of the skilled trades. So why do we need pre-apprenticeships? Well, we need pre-apprenticeships because the, the pipeline of individuals that were looking to go into the trades uh, kind of dried up a little bit. You know, we. Uh, faced a, a recession in 2008 and uh, the building trades were kind of hit hard by that 
And so I think as individuals, we stop looking at that as a, as a pathway to a career, but also as a society, we kind of downplay that. So you don't see um, the opportunities to learn things in, in the career centers or in schools like you used to. There's not really any shop classes or things that uh, were available to people to kind of get their feet wet. Do you mind giving me an example? Like what, what kind of trades are we talking about here? So we definitely have the trades that most people think of, electrician, plumber, carpenter, but there's painters, there's roofers, there's concrete workers, mason workers, uh, operating engineers, which are the guys that drive the big vehicles out there. There is the elevator uh, workers, sprinkler fitters, which are the the people that kind of do the fire suppression in, in the different buildings. And one of the cool things about Building Futures is when we bring people in, oftentimes individuals think they want to just be a carpenter or a plumber because that's all they've ever heard of. And the cool thing about Building Futures is we expose them to all these other trades that maybe they haven't heard of. One of the great things about Building Futures is that, is that there's so much cooperation from all the trades. It's actually what makes the program unique nationwide. Do you mind just telling me about the need for this and the response that you've gotten over the years. And, and Building Futures started in 2000 and... It just started in 18. Yeah, yeah okay. 2018. And it, since then? It's really taken off. Our graduation rate for the class is uh, 85% and our placement rate is 88%. Um, the need is there though, just based on the economics of the city of Columbus and really what we're looking at nationwide. One, there's a shortage in people in the skilled trades. Uh, we have a lot of people that are retiring. And then there's a huge amount of work. I mean, there are billions of dollars of contracts just in Columbus, and we need to make sure that we have people that can work on those jobs so that our infrastructure continues to be what it should be. Right, and this is something that you know, obviously, um, and, you, and you work in this and you think about it, but why are jobs so important? If you ask people what is their biggest stressor or what is causing the biggest issues it usually relates back to just being able to take care of their basic needs, being able to put a roof over their uh, heads or being able to provide food and, sh and clothing for their family. We want to provide a pathway to the middle class. We're not looking to just give people jobs. We want people in careers where they make a living wage, where they have benefits. It's really a, a program that benefits the entire community. We don't want to have people working two or three jobs just to make ends meet. We want to put people in a position where they're in a career path that they can feel good about, that pays them a, a living wage where they can take care of their families. Leland, thanks so much for joining us here. Oh, no problem, Tessia. Thank you for supporting the program and, and continuing to get the word out in the community for us. This program is brought to you by American Graduate, Getting to Work. Funded by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.